What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and I uh, hope you all had a great start of the weekend. In this video, we're going to be talking about Luna Classic again. It's going to be your Luna Classic market update. And in this video, I also wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, future of Luna Classic. Is it still possible to get a bull run like we did back in, uh, in, in, in the beginning of September? Is this still possible or is just, or, or is just is this just a dream um, and is it over for Luna Classic and is it just that we're going to fall down slowly um, but hard. So that's also what I wanted to talk about in this video but uh, first of all let's just talk about the short term. All right so what I usually do is that we take a look at some of the burns, talk about some of the fundamentals. Monday we'll get a Binance burn again. Right now you can see that we've already burned through 6 billion in Luna Classic in uh, so that's 0.1% I think something like that. Um, yeah, I think so. 0.1% already, which I mean, we can congratulate uh, our, ourselves on that. Um, you can see that we've kind of settled around uh, around an average of a little bit more than 200 million per day in, in burns from the burn tax. Apart from that, we've burned through way more in total. Uh, we're nearing that 20 billion level. I think we're getting some, something like on Monday, I think we're getting to a total of around 22 billion. 21 and a half billion, I think. Uh, so that's great. Obviously, it's it's only the start, uh, but it's at least a great start, I would think at least. Um, but yeah, so so that's still going on. Obviously, that will keep going on. Volume of Luna Classic has probably dropped down a little bit, which is bad for the burn jack. So it's probably going to decrease a little bit today and tomorrow. Uh, but then Monday, it's probably going to increase a little bit because the volatility always increases when the Binance burn happens. Um, kind of a lot of people anticipating big moves then. Uh, but the volume has dropped down to 225 million right now, which is, uh, which is at, at like almost uh, the lowest point in the last month. Definitely not a great sign for the long-term future, all right? Short term, this is what I, what I said yesterday. I'd say it was pretty accurate. I mean, not 100%. Um, but I'd say it was pretty accurate. Um, I thought we would drop down to towards that 26, 26 and a half thousand level. I still think that's going to happen, all right? We found some support at the upper bound of this key level, as you can see, at around 27. Um, but there's still, and I don't need to tell you that, still a lot of bearish momentum. You can see these EMAs, you can see that they're pressing the, the, pressing the price down, and they're going to keep doing that, I think, at least until 26 and 26 and a half thousand. And now I think that we can actually hold that level. All right, so we're still talking about the short term. Um, but I mean, if, if you zoom out a little bit, basically what you have is you have this, uh, this level right here. And I should probably split these up because I, I don't really like analyzing it like this anymore. I should probably do something like this. This is one level. And then a little bit down right here, you have another level, which we're going to use like this. All right, and then we're going to, uh, and, and there's also a level around 22,000, but th that doesn't matter for now. And we're going to delete this. See, this looks way cleaner already, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, so I think we're actually going to be able to hold this level between 26 and, and 26 and a half until at least Monday. And then Monday, I'm expecting a little bit more bullish momentum and to get up towards that 28, 28,000 and a half level. Um, all right, I don't think we'll break that short term. I don't think the Binance burn is enough for that. Um, but something I always say and something to remember and something you all probably know, you're, 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 you're not stupid, but Luna Classic will have bullish breakouts when we get bullish fundamentals. All right, the only way Luna Classic can go up is either a very strong support level, which 26,000 is not, or bullish fundamentals. If bullish fundamentals, so good news comes out, we can also break above 28,500, but, but if it's only the Binance burn, I think we'll get up there. I don't think we'll break that. All right, so that's that's what I expect on the short term. I do these updates daily, so I'll update it again daily, but I'm, I'm fairly confident in this for the, for the upcoming two or three days. Now let's talk a little bit about the long term. For those of you who are still here, um, in the long term, can we actually, if we zoom out to, 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 to the four hour, can we actually still get a run like this? All right, and um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I think the, the likelihood of a move like this is, is low, all right? The burn tax was great fundamentally, all right? It, it, it was a huge fundamental news. And that shot us all the way up. We got a lot of momentum, not a lot of people selling. Market circumstances that were more bullish, all right? The entire crypto market right now is, is more bearish than right here. 
Um, so is there a chance? Yes. Is the chance very high? No. All right. It's it's the chance is way higher uh, that we get some sort of a bull run, maybe off of twenty thousand, for example, if if we drop down there in, in the upcoming weeks, um, and that we do do something like this or or a little bit. Uh, a little bit less strong like that but something like that um, so I'd say it's it's not possible on the short term at least um, except for more bullish fundamentals all right that's it fundamentals make Luna classic if we get another burn tax or if we get some sort of a, a repegging to the to, to USTC that actually burns through Luna Classic, which I'm not sure how that mechanism would work, but something like that. It's, it's, it's about the idea. If we get something like that, then we could have that, all right? Then we could break through 35,000 again, break through 45,000 again, and maybe even get new uh, local tops. But when that happens, you'll definitely hear that from me. And until that happens, the best I think we can get is small rallies because of big burns like the Binance burn or because of strong support levels such as 25,000 and 20,000. So a little bit longer of a Luna Classic uh, video today, but hopefully we talked about some valuable things and hopefully you thought so too. For now, I want to thank you all for watching and listening. And uh, most importantly, I want to wish you all a great weekend. So take care and bye.